So, what's it like to drive the Lexus RX450 Hybrid? Well, the answer to that is very, very easy. It's incredibly comfortable and everything works as you would expect. It's very smooth. In fact, when I first got into the car, I thought it knew my height and weight straight away as the seats moved just to where I needed them to be and gave me a driving position. It was actually pretty much spot on. I had very little adjustment that I needed to do. Secondly, it's incredibly comfortable. The seats are very good, it's very quiet, and all the dash layout is kind of quite easy to understand. Certainly I had a few minutes just going over one or two wee things, but in terms of getting your phone connected, it was easy. And learning how to use the mouse and their computer system, the onboard entertainment system, is also pretty reasonable. But there's another thing that immediately overwhelms you when you get into this car. It's just the sense of it is a proper luxury off-roader. Now, at nearly £48,000, which cars similar to this would cost, you would expect that. But it is rather nice. It drives well, it's very quiet, it's comfortable, and the economy is claimed to get up to 42 miles to the gallon. Now, all I can say is I've done about 70 miles in it, and it's used about an eighth of a tank. So yeah, I'll probably reckon that when I take it back to Edinburgh tomorrow, it will have used about a, just over a quarter of a tank completely. So it's reasonable to run when you think it's a three and a half liter V6 engine. It's very refined, but actually makes quite a nice sound when you put it in sport mode if you need to overtake. It's really not bad. And if you just want to wander about and just take it easy, it's incredibly comfortable. It's so comfortable. That's one of the things that you would certainly notice about driving this car. In terms of passenger space, it's pretty good. I mean, certainly in the front here, there's plenty of room. There's a lovely big um, uh, armrest in the middle. There's room for cup holders, two cup holders that are well thought out and placed well. I've even got seat heaters that go cold as well as warm. This wonderful screen here gives me navigation as well as uh, all my Bluetooth audio and just a whole range of features um, and everything pretty much you could think of. In terms of driving as well, you've got adaptive cruise control and lane departure warnings as well. In fact, it gave me a laugh today when it said I need to pull over and have a rest and have a cup of tea. Because I was on a, a minor back road and I had to drive down the middle of the road, it wasn't very impressed that I, was, I wasn't staying in my lane. So as a result, it tried to pull me over and it said you need to have a rest. So it must have thought I'd driven too many miles. But it's a lovely car to drive, the steering is quite direct, even for a big off-roader. When I was taking it over Sutra today, it handled rather well, the corners were really no problem at all. Um, and the ride quality is good, it doesn't really jar about, it doesn't bounce about. Pretty much everything you would expect from Lexus, which is of course the luxury end of Toyota. It's a beautiful interior, you know you've got from your clock there that you'll see in the pictures in a few minutes. Um, to the wonderful big screen, to the leather covered dashboard and even this red leather interior which may not be my first choice it's certainly not a bad car at all in fact it's lovely if you had to do a lot of miles you can see why somebody would want to have a car like this and especially somebody like me who's a little bit bigger than they should be it's got plenty of space in fact they've got loads of knee room i was very impressed with just how easy it is to drive and how easy it is how relaxing it is to drive you can sit here at 60 miles an hour all day long and it just works the cruise control and all the features on the steering wheel, volume for your radio and all the bits and bobs are really very, very easy. It won't take long at all to adjust it, you know, to adjust to driving a car like this. In fact, if you're used to really anything from Toyota, you're not going to be surprised by the layout. I have a lovely screen here which gives me my speed, revs, fuel uh, consumption, it gives me the temperature, everything you would expect and it all is very, very clear. Um, it's also everything's done for you. I mean, you've got the automatic lighting, automatic rain, uh, rain sensors for the windscreen wipers. It really does everything. Even when you reverse them, the mirrors move for you. It's it's actually quite an easy car to park. Um, I had to do a whole bunch of reversing in it when I was visiting a friend of mine, and it was really really easy to get in and out of the driveway, which on some big cars can be a bit of a pain. So there's really not much not to like. I would, the only thing I would say is it's maybe for a car that claims to be the sport version it's maybe not that sporty I mean in terms of like a Range Rover Sport or a top end Range Rover Velar or you know, that kind of equivalent or perhaps a Jaguar F-Pace you're going to find that that's a lot more sporty to drive but you know 
do you really have to have a sporty SUV? Is it the absolute end of, of end? You know, is it the, 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 the big question? Maybe not. Maybe you just want something that handles pretty well, is comfortable, is certainly going to be reliable. I mean, Lexus very, very rarely go wrong. The service is good. Um, you know, yeah, they get a very good reputation. So, I mean, for a car roughly around about the forty-eight thousand pound mark, and that's with demo mileage, as this has done four and a half thousand miles. Um, you know, I actually think it's probably quite good value. And I think if you're looking for something that little bit different, you know, I mean, the design of the RX four fifty is an awful lot better than the old one. And as you'll see in the pictures later on in the video that uh, you know the old one was a little bit kind of square didn't quite work out that well but this one is definitely it's quite striking in fact everyone that that's talked to me since i've had it has said this how nice it looks how sleek it looks how kind of um modern and futuristic which is really something that lexus needed because some of their cars were a bit dull to look at although they're very very nice and good to own the the, the way that they look wasn't maybe their strongest point so this is a lovely car i have to say it's practical um, it can have two seats in the back no problem it has an armrest in the back as well so your kids can be happy and hopefully comfortable it's easy to keep at a reasonable temperature in fact the climate control system is incredibly accurate and it's very very easy to work it's got some decent buttons down here that are very clear so it's not difficult to use at all in fact pretty much everything about it is really really straightforward you could pretty much jump in and drive yes you might want to know how to pair your, your phone to the systems and so on but really it's it's one of these cars you just jump in and drive which is a great trade for something as really as what is a luxury off-roader and um, you know to be able just to get in and drive without any issues is pretty good going so I'm coming up to Churnside and I'm going to be having a little look around here to see what it's like see how it handles the, the big town of Churnside features and it does that as you would expect rather easily i have to say i'm very impressed with the ride quality too it's really not bad um, i mean for a car this size on quite big wheels as well um, it's you know it doesn't jar you at all it's it's very very easy that uh, better watch my speed no, it's actually gonna, it's actually got quite a good thing here that it tells you what speed the road is in terms of what the legal limit is for any road that you're on and if it's white you're within the limit if it's red you're over it so just little things like that make you realize you better watch what you're doing because the coppers could be about and you don't want to have a live video recording of me getting done by the police but uh, no it's a it's a good car i think you really couldn't go far wrong by looking at this lexus it's also practical there's a the boot's decent yeah, um, i'm sure you could fit a good worth of family um luggage than you need there at least two or three suitcases i would have thought if not a bit more and i'll show you pictures of that later on so what else is there to say about this Lexus RX 450 Hybrid? Well, the economy is not bad when you consider the size of the engine. It's easy to drive. It's comfortable. It's well built. It has a good long warranty on it. Servicing, you can get service packages which can help to reduce the cost. Yeah, it's really, it's, it's almost like the kind of the quiet man's car. Because, you know, if you want bling and everything else, you'd go for a Range Rover or something of that type. But if you just want something that's just yeah it's going to maybe stand out of the crowd a little bit but it isn't too isn't too sporty isn't too kind of you know it's it, it kind of it will come silently in a crowd so people might not notice it but it's just a really nice car then the lexus is absolutely ideal and on that on that note i'd have to say i would give it out of five stars i would give it four i think it's pretty good Maybe it could be a little bit more sporty, but really other than that, there's an awful lot to like about the Lexus RX 450 Hybrid. So, get ready for our next video. Thanks for watching. Remember to hit subscribe if you like it, and please comment below. We'd love to hear what you think. Bye just now.